Hey, you guys. Ooh, I'm getting ready to go to France. I'm going to miss you all, but I'll try to do some lives while I'm gone. Did you guys catch that Watch What Happens live with Teddy Mellencamp and John Mellencamp? So the fans were really like impacted by this appearance because I guess some fans were like, wow, Teddy Mellencamp is really um, dramatic. And while she was on the show. And this really proves that it is like not just us as fans saying it, that, you know, John Mellencamp is kind of confirming it in the story he tells. And then some of the fans were like, John Mellencamp is really dry, you know, kind of like Teddy. And they were like, I'm just kidding. He wasn't that boring. I thought he was okay. <laughs> he was sort of like, you know, this is such a stupid conversation, but I'll entertain it because I'm trying to support my daughter. But I think it's all just silly. And that's what I felt like. And I think his answers were really kind of intelligent and deeper than you'd expect. And he obviously didn't give one, like two shits about the Bravo audience. And so, but it made me think maybe this is where Teddy gets her deadpan delivery, which can be kind of flat. You know what I'm saying? Some of the fans call it boring. I'll just call it flat. But I just thought I would share it with you because everybody was talking about this on social media. And so I wanted to talk about it on YouTube. Why the hell not? And then I had some comments about there's a new kiss ass in town. And I want to talk about that second part of this video. <laughs> new kiss ass, Kyle. Did you, you guys, hear? I got Botox and on purpose. I have no makeup on, so you guys could see what you think, okay? <laughs> what do you think? It hasn't totally set in yet. Three more days, but I think it looks better. Okay. You got heartfelt message Listen, on social I wish media. I could play you the video, but copyright rules, I can't, so I have to just have you listen. Red in part, I don't know what she's doing, but I'm proud of her and I hope she achieves her goals, <laughs> which I loved. But it made me wonder how much John actually knows about Teddy's other TV experience, Housewives of Beverly Hills. So, John, I have a couple questions for you. Had you heard of The Real Housewives or watched an episode before Teddy joined the show? I probably have heard of him, yeah. Did you watch The Housewives of Beverly Hills when Teddy was on? Some episodes. You did, and what what did you think of it? Well, it reminded me that uh, this sort of reality television started on MTV. Yes. How do you how do you view what was going on with MTV? Um, how do you compare it to The Housewives? That's interesting to me. Well, I think you guys uh, have honed that art uh, in art. quite a bit compared <laughs> to what they were doing. Um, do you, um, Teddy once said that you got annoyed when she would cry on the housewives. Why did that Me annoy too. you? <laughs> well, I know Teddy and, uh, she doesn't really cry. I know, I'm not really a crier. She's not a crier. No. She seems tough. No, she's not. I was a shell of a human being. I was a shell of a human being when I first went on the show. No, I was not no, 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 no. You've always been dramatic. You but I didn't... <laughs> She comes out. But I didn't I, I'll, cry. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you a funny story. Um, no, if it's about the basketball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, I want to hear it. Yeah, it's good. I want to hear it. It's good. No. We were playing basketball at my house one day, and Teddy was probably about, I don't know, 10, 11. Seven. 11. Four. You know. Anyway, uh, she was, it was all big guys playing, but she wanted to play, so she, she was playing. She was always falling down. I mean, Dad, I'm hurt. I'm hurt. And it's like, get up. You know, <laughs> if you're going to play, play. If you're going to, you know, piss and moan, then just don't play. So anyway, the game gets over, and Teddy's laying there, and she's going, Dad, I'm really hurt. I'm really hurt. And I go, Teddy, just get up. Let's go. And uh, somebody looked at me and said, I'm trying to go pick your daughter up. And I'm going, ow. <laughs> so we walked up to the house, and I said, watch. And we sit there and watch her, and all of a sudden she realizes there's nobody watching her. She just gets up, stops the fake crying. Wow. And walks in the house. 
So any questions you have about me and the way that I am are answered right well, here. I like that, but that's really interesting. Okay, this is a lesson for me. Yeah. Don't I mean, indulge. Us smell and camps, we like attention. I like that stuff. Okay. That's an understatement. I guess you guys were right. Teddy Mellencamp on purpose, like over dramatized things to get people in trouble on the show. Wow. That's shady. Also, Teddy Mellencamp posted this really weird, obviously trying to get people to go listen to her podcast post where she was like, everyone is unfriending me <laughs> after the Brandy Glanville episode. <laughs> Big shocker. Uh, but anyway, I thought it was so weird because underneath it, Taylor Armstrong's like, you're the best ladies, you're the best ladies. And I'm like, okay, Taylor, you hated Brandy Glanville and everything she represented for years. Then you go on Ultimate Girls Trip season two, you pretty much are consistent with that sentiment, which I appreciated. You know, you were authentic in that way. But I mean, Brandy Glanville dragged you the whole Ultimate Girls trip. And even at the end when there, there was that BS, you know, I love you, you know, let's just, you know, agree to disagree scene. Um, I think it's time for the kiss ass baton to be passed to Taylor Armstrong. Okay. <laughs> just saying. I mean, I wish I could post on here what I do on my Instagram, but I don't, you know, I, I can't because they have so many copyright controls. I love to send like secret shade in my music and stuff, and I can't do any of that on here. It's so frustrating. All I've got is my filter. Okay, so here's the post I was telling you about. It's, uh, I, I obviously cut it up because I was trying to post it on my Instagram, but um, <laughs> I was playing popular behind it. You know, that song from Wicked. So Taylor Armstrong says, uh, now this is a trio, dancing ladies, kiss and fire and all sorts of fun emojis. I can't see the last one, but you get the drift. And you can see Teddy Mellencamp is like, you know, commenting that they, you know, she's being sarcastic that she made a lot of friends on the last podcast. Anyway, I guess Brandy Glanville must have brought this serious shade. We all know she's trying to get, well, she's been trying to get it back on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills since she left, but she's really made a push for it since Ultimate Girls Trip season two. Yeah, and I guess Taylor uh, being, you know, brought back on Real Housewives of Orange County really probably put a fire under Brandy's ass. Because think of the strategy behind that collab. We got Brandy Glanville collabing with Tamara, who just was invited back to Real Housewives of Orange County. Brandy definitely sees herself as an equal to Tamara. You've got Teddy Mellencamp, who's been doing her own uh, publicity tour to go back on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, including with all the cast members of Beverly Hills backing it probably at, you know, with Kyle's lead on that. So Brandy loves the idea of being with Tamara and uh, Teddy because they share that all in common. And then Taylor chimes in, you know, I don't know why, I guess Real Housewives of Orange County trying to show her support to Tamara, but really with a Brandy post, come on. It's like, all kidding aside, I, I really do want to ask Taylor what the deal was with that whole Taylor Ford thing. I go into great detail about that in the Patreon. Shocking, really. You think you know someone. So the subliminal message here is I'm with all these people who have been brought back or are being talked about coming back or wanted back. And therefore, this collab will make the fans start talking like that about me. That's Brandy's angle. Taylor's just trying to be like, I support everybody because I want to be on everybody's show. <laughs> I'll be on anything. <laughs> Terrible of me, isn't it? The shade. <laughs> oh, by the way, I got Botox. One more thing before I go. I want to share something with you guys. It's hilarious. Aiden made me laugh. He tweeted this. <laughs> Erica's son's car in Pasadena. Uh, I love it. It's such a good parody on season 12 and the story of Erica's son. All right, you guys, I'll leave you on that note, but I have one more thing. One more, one more. I promise. That's it. Happy holidays.